So you might be trying to figure out how you can download a video on Pinterest. Now doing this is actually very, very basic. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and basically make your way over to your Pinterest application or Pinterest, you know, website, and you want to go and find a video. So in this case, I found this random video right here. And all you're going to want to do is click on the video that you want to go ahead and download. So when you're on this video, what you're going to want to do next is you want to take this link right here and you just want to go and copy this link. So take that link right there and you want to go ahead and basically just copy it. So now what you're going to want to do is you want to make your way over to Google and you can either Google one of these types of you know links. You can Google download Pinterest video or you can make your way over to PinterestDownloader.com. So that is a website right there, PinterestDownloader.com. Now, all you're going to have to do here is you're going to have to go through and basically just take and copy that link of this particular video right here. You want to go and take that link. And then what you want to do is you want to go and basically post this link right here. So you want to go and take this link and you want to go and post paste it right here for the most part. So you take that link, post it right there. And then all you want to do is download this video. So now you should be able to go through and download the video right here. You can download video, you can force download a video, and you have that option right here, basically downloading that video out. So now when it's like this, all you really have to do is click on the bottom right corner. And sometimes if that doesn't work, you can also click force download video, and this will download this video via to your files application. So you can see right here, it's downloading. And all you're going to have to do here is basically just wait until it completely downloads. And then from there, you can go and bring that into your photos application. And that's pretty much how it works. It's a pretty basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.